Hello everyone, today we have new video review, so finally I'm back online and I think we will discuss several things in this video review. First of all, we will be checking the new mini art release in 135 scale. This is aircraft kit, which copies Pocket Wolf C30A. And as you can see, that's a late production version, so it's a fresh August release, which should be already available for purchase. And we have here the commercial sample, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review. And the second thing which I would like to discussed in the beginning is that uh, my PC broke and that's why I was offline for quite a long time and now I'm trying to gather uh, at least a small amount of money for a new PC which will be powerful enough to edit and do some live streaming which we were doing before so if you are willing to or uh, you can help us we have special support button on our website and it is done via PayPal so it should be safe enough and fast and of course you will be the one who will be deciding how much you would like to donate but this time we really donate uh, uh, all this money for the new PC and we really need your help for this let's say in the hour. Nevertheless, let's start with this kit. So as you can see, it's an um, aircraft kit which is based on this Hero Shreke aircraft and it was released in several versions before. We reviewed them all, so if you would like to, you can find video review on our YouTube channel. And here we have quite nice box art. Box size is standard. Here you can see comparison with my hand. And on the side we have some information about this kit. I would say it's also pretty much standard for all mini art releases. And on the opposite side you can see three marking options which are included into this kit. Not more than three marking options inside, yes. So I think it should be fine for such kit. But in case you would like to copy something different, nobody stops you from applying something uh, unusual on this kit because it's more of a what if subject so I don't think that somebody will be complaining about historical accuracy. So here is what we have inside as you can see all frames are packed into the same plastic bag and then we have assembly manual on the bottom. Plastic bag is sealed so I'm going to open it and we will check everything together. So just give me a second here I need scissors in order to open it and this kit is quite unusual to say the least. I mean, nobody expected Miniart to be releasing aircraft kits and especially in 135 scale. I know some of you complained that scale choice is not that smart because 135 scale is not that widespread in aircraft sense. Nevertheless, Miniart decided to take this way and we have already several aircraft kits in this scale so I guess they are quite serious about it. So here we have small envelope with PE parts. Let's open it and check what is supplied here. So it's a small PE thread. As you can see these are unpainted PE parts. Let's zoom in a bit. And there are, I would say, more or less the same as what we saw in the previous releases. And because they are unpainted it should be easier to get the right paint shade on this part so I know some modders appreciate such possibility and here you have it out of the box so you don't have to be worried about wrong paint shade on this part. So let's zoom out a bit. Now we go on with another plastic bag and again it is sealed. Why? Because here we have decals and also clear plastic sprue so now I need scissors in order to cut through it and we will check everything closer. So just give me a second. Okay, so first of all clear plastic sprue and again we need to zoom in back. Uh, here we have two windscreens for this aircraft. Masks are not included so you have to cut everything with your own hands. But molding quality seems to be fine so I don't have any complaints about these parts. The only thing you should be ready is cutting masks for these parts. Next we go on with decals. So decals come from Decograph and as you can see here we have all necessary symbols for three marking options. No worries about swastika it is included as well and even though it wasn't uh, displayed on the marking options it is still here so you will be able to replicate it on your model if you would like to. And printing quality as I said looks really fine so I don't think you will have any issues with these symbols. 
Next we start with grey plastic sprue. So first one is here. Let's zoom out a bit. Now it should be better. So here we have special struts for the um, propeller. Also here we have frame for the cockpit. Also tail surfaces. And these thin parts they will require some extra care because otherwise you might end up breaking them and then it will be really difficult to fix them. So be careful with them. Do not use any plastic cutters. Use plastic saw because it will ensure that all parts will stay intact. And here you can see parts from the opposite side. So no molding issues here. We have guiding elements which will make it easier to install these parts into the right spot. So I don't think it will be a really difficult task to do. Next we go on with second plastic sprue. Here we have first fuselage half. Let's zoom out like this. So this is a left fuselage half obviously. As you can see it is molded together with tail fin and it looks fine here we have a lot of thin parts again another thin frame for the cockpit and I think we can zoom into the cockpit half so that you can see this fabric surface which is carefully replicated on the model so I recommend to play with painting and shading techniques in order to bring this out on your model and here on the opposite side you can see that we have some internal detailing as well and it is really important because it will be visible on the finished model so do not underestimate this detailing use some washes and maybe shading or weathering here because it will be visible on the finished model and your model will only benefit from such upgrades. Okay. Next we go on with another plastic sprue which is dedicated to a mix of internal and external parts. So let's zoom out a bit more. Now you should be able to see that here we have one piece pilot seats. Also we have this special uh, parts for the top section and here we have some parts for the landing gear and all these things are pre-shaped which is really cool because you won't have to install various separate tabs um, here and there and if we flip it over here you can notice that we have guiding elements here and also these plastic pins you have to cut them off I mean it is easy to guess but be careful again I would rather use plastic so because they might also break the main part let's say and then it will be funny time trying to repair it. Next we have three identical plastic sprues and I think you can guess why because here we have rotor blades which are quite large they're pre-shaped so as you can see they have this slight sag and I think that's really cool and you can assemble this aircraft in two versions so in the um, transport position or in the deployed position you will see it in assembly manual a bit later and the last grey plastic sprue is dedicated to two fuselage halves which is quite surprising in my opinion I don't remember uh, this kit having two sets of fuselage halves so I guess these ones might be a new parts for this particular version we also have landing gear wheels here and new type of the propeller engine is also quite nice here because it will be enhanced with P parts as well so we will see in assembly manual in a second because now it is really interesting and of course inside here you can see that we have uh, some internal detailing for the cockpit so it won't be a bare walled cockpit with no detailing inside okay assembly manual is printed in form of typical mini art brochure so no surprise here as you can see we have short list of the features on the first page and next we go on with first marking option here we have parts map and again Minyard does not show which parts are not used in this kit so be careful. I hope they will start showing unused parts in the future kits so you can easily navigate through this parts map. And assembly process starts with engine. Why I'm a bit confused because as far as I remember previous kit was assembled in a slightly different way. Then we go on with cockpit and here we have the interior floor, then we continue with pilot seats and um, bulkheads, here we have various control elements and also cockpit walls and then all this stuff gets together into a separate sub-assembly which will be inserted between fuselage halves as you can see here, then you start assembling the 
top section for the propeller or for the rotor. Next we continue with tail surfaces which are obviously assembled separately and here I don't recommend to hurry because you have to get this right fitment or right alignment between these tail wings in order to get a nice aircraft as a result. Next you install this engine and propeller and also landing gear wheels are assembled out of two hulls and the final steps they involve transport I mean choosing between transport and flying position as I said before so it will um, determine the choice of the parts which will be used for these propeller blades but both versions should be equally interesting so it will be up to you what you would like to copy in 135 scale here we have certain actually second marking option why well, I'm a bit confused because of this uh, rectangular shape but as you remember the symbol is included in decals and here on the third marking option we have aircraft from mid 1930s and I don't know why it reminds me of winter version without any skis but as you remember winter version was released separately and we reviewed it as well so you can find it on our YouTube channel if you would like to as for this kit it should be already available on Modelimax webshop so if you would like to get it just go there and order it and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit write it here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye